Hello with everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a Flappy Bird game on Scratch. This video will have uh, a few parts, so this is only a part one. Today we will create our bird fall, uh, so and, and we can also jump and die when we hit edge. So we'll start by creating a new project. We can rename this sprite uh, one to player. Okay, we can delete this second cat and rename this here to player. Great, we can delete this cat. We want to create our bird. So we'll go to circle, select yellow color and go with black outline color. This too big. Make your bird to be 28 by 28 pixels, that's good. Great. We want to create wings. Also, to create a perfect circle, hold shift at, uh, at the same time as you are creating circles. So now we are going to create those wings. They're maybe not perfect, but we need it to look a little bit like a bird. So now we want to create uh, uh, <coughs> to create a rectangle so how we'll do it we'll first select orange color we don't need outline color we are first going uh, not we are, we are not going to make a rectangle we are going to make a uh, 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 tri a uh, triangle I'm sorry uh, so now here delete this corner we can flip this Great. This bird now only needs eyes. Great. It looks okay, so nice. We can start by when we when is clean flag, green flag clicked block. We'll set X to minus 120 so we'll go to the left side of the screen okay so now we want to create our bird falling so we'll put this forever loop and put here change y by so y is uh, this so this is y position and if you change it by a negative number we'll start falling but this is not good falling because while falling as long as we fall we will fall faster so we need to have our gravity so we'll delete this my variable we'll create a new variable speed y so that's how much will fall in next step we can set it only for this for this sprite only because this is falling for this sprite so here on on the start we'll put set speed y to zero now change speed y by negative one and then we are going to change y by speed y so every time will fall faster okay now we want also to add a jumping to this game so now if he no if we want just if we click on screen so if mouse down we want to set speed y to 28 so Ooh, we go <coughs> we go a lot of a lot of steps up so we'll maybe put 12 that's also too much let me see seven i think that's good so how will this work when we set speed y to seven that will be a positive number and we'll change y by positive number of steps uh, until it gets to zero when it gets less than zero we will start falling again that's good but we can just spam uh, we can just spam with mouse down uh, with mouse key like this so now we want when we click mouse we want first to wait until not clicking the mouse so not mouse down and then we'll do this so now when we try this 
But there is also another thing which we which we want to add because while we are holding our mouse, uh, we are not falling. We want to add that. So, uh, so we'll go here. Just check then here if not mouse down. So let me see this. We cannot jump now because uh, we, it sees we are now not holding mouse down and it will just go back here. So that's wrong. Put this back. So now. What we want to do is create two scripts. This one. Put here forever. So now we can uh, put back our wait until block. So now these two scripts can run at the same time. So let me try this. Okay, that's good. But now we want to jump a, li jump a little bit higher. Maybe like 10, I think it's good. Because 7 is a little number. Uh, okay, 10 is a little too big. So we can add 8. 8 is good. And also, we want to to uh, to change our direction while jumping and while falling. So while falling, we want to point in direction 135. And while jumping, we want to point in direction 45. So let me try this. And when we jump, we are getting back to this position. So <clears throat> what we're going to do, okay, put this here. So we'll put this into a new script again. So now we can do this again, great. And now we're going to use this position while speed y variable is greater greater than greater than zero so if uh, we don't want to use if i'm sorry we're going to use repeat until so repeat until not y position uh, uh, not y position i'm sorry uh, speed y is greater than zero so let me try this it looks good but this is maybe bad position we can do 60 and here 120 Okay, we will work more about this in next tutorial. Now we want to add when we hit uh, when we hit edge. So when we uh, uh, when we hit edge, we will lose. So now when green flag clicked, we will again use this forever loop. No, we don't need it. There is a better way. We'll just put here wait until touching, and here we'll put edge. We'll put here stop all blocks. So we'll be unable to do anything when we touch it. Also, when we hit it here, we are unable to do anything. That's good. So that's all of this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Uh, we are we are so close to hit. Uh, we are so close to hit those uh, uh, those 50 subscribers. So uh, like and subscribe and see you in next video.